Coach Megan. I've been involved in sport and physical activity my whole life. I grew up ski racing, playing soccer, hiking, biking, and I couldn't get enough. I love sports so much that I even went to school for it. However, as I got older, less and less girls were involved in the sports and rec activities that I loved. We should work together to change that, and that's where Go Run comes in. Go Run is a free, fun, and inclusive girls-only running program developed to increase participation in physical activity for girls. Go Run might also be a place where gender and sexually diverse students feel safe and included. We know that identities are layered, meaning that some of our students may experience many different barriers to participation. EAS believes that all students deserve a safe and encouraging place to participate in sport and physical activity, and that's what Go Run is all about. So, why should you implement Go Run in your school? First off, we want to promote gender equity and inclusion. According to Canadian Women in Sport, gender equity is the process of allocating resources, programs, and decision-making fairly to all genders without any discrimination on the basis of gender and addressing any imbalances in the benefits available to people of different genders. Equality focuses on creating the same starting line for everyone. Equity has the goal of providing everyone with the full range of opportunities and benefits, the same finish line. Addressing inequity in sport goes far beyond gender. Every individual has multiple and unique identity factors that affect the way they experience sport and physical activity. These could include socioeconomic status, citizenship status, ethnicity, sexual orientation and ability, among others. Women and girls who experience multiple intersecting identity factors are even more vulnerable to discrimination. By creating inclusive programs, we're working to change these inequalities and provide fun and safe physical activity environments for all. These fun and safe environments look like places where girls feel comfortable to learn, try, perform, and fail. Many girls and women feel additional pressure performing in sports spaces, so we want to provide programs that are built for the needs of our participants. By creating inclusive environments in sport, girls are more likely to actively participate and stay involved long term. Having coaches and leaders who are also women or gender diverse can help with this. We love to see girls supporting girls. Get ready for Coach Megan's tips. I know how intimidating it can be to start coaching for the first time. So in this video, we're going to talk through some of our tips that we think will help you become the best coach that you can be. First, let's go over our top 10 coach considerations. Emphasize participation and acceptance before skill and effort. Don't fear having competition. Rather, create an environment where differing levels of competition are welcomed and appreciated. Be mindful of gender-neutral language. Ask for and use your participants' pronouns, and consider how your language, like microaggressions, might affect your participants. Monitor your participants to ensure everyone is getting equal opportunities. Create an inclusive identity and unity within your team to prevent clicks. Building healthy, strong relationships is key to this effort. Encourage the girls to plan and make decisions, allowing them to have input into the design of the program. Reinforce the social and emotional benefits of moving and actively dissociate these from appearance, specifically weight. Health promoting coaches don't comment on student bodies, but celebrate student effort and participation. Teach the basics. Invest some time into developing physical literacy and fundamental movement skills. Target is a really great, easy to follow model to emphasize progress over perfection. Engage women and gender diverse folks as positive role models in your club because they can help legitimize sport as a safe and appropriate social activity. Always emphasize fun. These coach considerations help you to build a supportive and open environment where girls feel comfortable and empowered to take part in sport and physical activity. As a coach, we want to make sure that we're considerate and aware of the different needs of the groups that we're working with. Even small things like being flexible with your run club uniforms makes a huge difference. If you want more ideas on games and what training can look like, you should go check out our practice plan builder linked in the video notes below. It gives you games, running logs, and all the tools you'll need to make the most awesome practice plan ever. Now, you've set up your Go Run Club, you're feeling great, but you just don't seem to have the participation that you were hoping for. It's because you haven't tried out our top 10 tips for engaging and maintaining participation. Let's go over them. 
allow girls to test out Go Run for a period of time without commitment expectation, allowing them to see for themselves what it's all about. Support their right to pass and their agency in how they choose to participate. There is no right way. Celebrate a year well run with year-end prizes for everyone. Go Run will mail every club finisher prizes at the end of your season, so let us know how many you need. Incorporate music and let participants have a say in what they would like to hear. You could ask this as a question on your All About Me sheet. Participate in events. Search for local fun runs or host your own. Consider a virtual marathon where your participants set the destination and to celebrate reaching the destination, host a final themed fun run. Create leaders within your club so as your girls move to older grades, they get to not only participate but also experience a leadership role. Representation matters, so the more women with intersecting identity factors your participants see as leaders, the more girls will see themselves as leaders. Create opportunities for your students to connect with other run clubs or organizations outside your school. Have your participants fill out the goal setting sheet so they can keep track of their goals and their progress. Don't forget to celebrate all the milestones. Find a balance between competition and fun. Some girls enjoy the competitive side of sport, while others enjoy the social side of it. Don't be afraid to add competition in, but work to create an environment that celebrates participation over skill. Build annual traditions so there is a familiarity in the program from year to year. Consider adding something new and exciting each year to keep your girls engaged and excited. It is so important for coaches to gather participants to discuss and reflect on relevant topics. Group discussions can support team and relationship building, fostering a sense of belonging and leading to increased and continued participation. It's important to note that Go Run clubs will look different from elementary to junior high to high school. If you're looking for ways to keep your high school students more engaged, ask them what they're looking for. Gear your Go Run club to more of a walk slash run club. Work to create an inclusive space and honestly provide snacks. What high school student doesn't love snacks. An important part of Go Run is creating open, inclusive spaces as well as addressing and removing barriers. This is what takes us from your average run club to a program that has real impact for your students. We're working hard to help change the narrative of who belongs in sport. Sport is not just meant for boys and men, sport is for everyone. Our girls in sport shouldn't feel intimidated or ostracized. They should feel empowered to perform, compete, and have fun. But that's on us as coaches to support, empower, and create meaningful and inclusive sport experiences. By creating a love for physical activity and sport at a young age, we increase the likelihood of lifelong participation in physical activity for women. When girls have positive experiences in sport, it also puts them at a greater likelihood to grow to leadership roles in the sports and recreation fields, leading to greater representation. It has been found that having women in coaching and leadership roles increases participation in girls' sports, which makes gender representation so vital. We also want girls to be participating in sport and physical activity for the right reasons. In our clubs, we want to promote body positivity because Go Run clubs are not for weight loss or weight management. As a coach, we want to put emphasis on participating and competing for the love of sport or activity, not for any extrinsic purposes. Be mindful of the language and examples you use when communicating with your participants. The best way to talk about weight and weight loss with girls is not to talk about weight and weight loss with girls. There are so many greater benefits to running and we want to keep that the focus of Go Run. A great way to help make sure you are being conscious of your participants' needs is having them fill out our All About Me sheets when they join the run club. These sheets are a great way to learn more about your participants who they are, what their preferences and strengths are, as well as what their goals are. All About Me sheets are also a safe way for participants to share some of the barriers they're facing and the ways you can help. Visit our Run Club website for more information on how to register your club, fun runs, handbooks, contact information, and more. Happy running!